Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the weekly show where I teach you how to do something cool in your Lightworks video editor in two minutes or less. First things first, Lucasfilm, please don't sue me for that unbelievably realistic rendition of the Star Wars theme tune. I was just having a bit of fun. Secondly, today I want to teach you guys about the text tool inside Lightworks. Now the text tool looks quite simple on paper, but as that silly demonstrations may be shown, there's a lot that you can do with it. So let's get our two minute timer up on the screen now, and I'll try and give you a brief rundown of the text tool. Let's go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go to text and then choose one of the three options at the top here. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use roll. So we'll drag that down onto our timeline here and just stretch it out a bit so it's a little bit longer for us to work with. We're gonna go up to settings and then I'm just gonna paste in some text that I wrote before I started this recording. And there we go, if I scrub along or hit play, you can see text moving up the screen in the default fashion for roll. So let's go through some of the options that we can adjust here. First up, we've got font and this basically just changes the look of the text. It's like size, bold, italics. So we'll scroll through the font list here and just pick one at random to use. This is all really simple stuff. You either tick a box or drag a slider. Next, we've got face, and this is how you change the color of the text. It's set to flat color by default, so if we change this top color here, that'll change the entire text. You've also got some other options, like a two-tone variant, if you want to explore a less flat or singular colored look. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to use flat color. Position is exactly what it sounds like. It lets you control the position of your text. The progress slider lets you control how slow or quickly your text moves up the screen. By default, your text will be set to start rolling up at the start of the clip and finish at the end of the clip, but you can adjust this if you want, and this makes use of keyframes. Now, if you're not familiar with keyframes, make sure you go and check out our other shortcuts video, the key to keyframes, and I'll put the, the link to that down in the description below. You've also got leading, which is basically just going to control the line height between your lines of text. You can add a shadow to your text if you want. There's nothing too crazy here. You can just control how hard or soft the shadow is, which direction it's pointing in, and what color it is. Last but not least for text options, you've also got outline, which adds a nice solid color around your text. If I choose a nice bold green here, you can see that in action, but I don't want that for the purposes of this demo, so I'm going to turn it off again. Now, the nice thing about the text effects is that any other effects built into Lightworks can work with them. So, for example, if we drop 3D DVE, this can let us adjust how the text is operating in the space of the screen, in no way resembling any particular franchise. There we go. I know that was a bit of a silly demonstration, but hopefully it shows that there's a fair amount of things that you can achieve with the text tool. Do give it a try yourself. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that YouTube goodness so you get notified every time there's a new episode of Shortcuts. Thanks for watching. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-